Okay, here I am going to show you how to properly crop and resample a photograph on your Mac using iPhoto so that it will fit uh, with exactly the aspect ratio and the pixel size that you need it to. All right, so uh, for the sake of this demonstration, we're looking to create a 760 pixel wide and 345 pixel high um, photo from an original file. So first thing I'm going to do is import a photo into the library. So we go up to File, Import, and we go to Documents, and I'm just going to grab this corn cakes file here. And if we double click on that, then we have it in our editable view. And if I click on Edit, down here near the lower left, we'll see that we have our crop tool, which is where we're going to start. So we click on crop, and we'll see that uh, we have our little toolbar down near the bottom of the you know, cropping selector. And what we want to do is click on constrain, okay, and then from this drop down here, we're going to choose custom. All right, and then for the width, as mentioned earlier, we're going to want 760. And if we tab over, we can put in the 345. And if we hit tab once more, we can see that our cropping area adjusts to the proper aspect ratio. So now this isn't actually creating the 760 pixels wide is just 760 units wide by 345 right so we can we can grab these corners and move them around and we can shift the whole uh, crop uh, selector up and down and around to get exactly the view that we want all right but all the while that we're doing that that 760 by 345 aspect ratio is in effect. When we have it the way we want it, and I'm going to say this is fine, we can click apply, and what we end up with is that uh, proper aspect ratio cropped in a manner that we like. All right. Now that's the first step. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back up to file, and we're going to choose export. Okay. Now. Um, it's for a website, so we want it to stay as a JPEG. All right. uh, quality, we'll set to high. Uh, it, it gives you less um, loss and artifacts uh, on the file. And in terms of size, this is where we're going to say custom. Okay, And we're going to choose uh, one of the two dimensions. In this case, we'll, you know, we'll just grab the width because we know that it was 760 pixels wide. So, and the other, because the aspect ratio is correct, the uh, the height will automatically adjust to 345 pixels high after this save, right? So, um, now if we leave these items at the bottom under file name to use file name, when we click export here, uh, it will prompt us for the file name. Now this is the original file name. Um, you can leave that if you want to overwrite your original picture, but probably better practice would be to uh, add on the end of it, you know, say a dash 760 for example, to show that it's been cropped down to that size, right? And we click OK. Now, um, in our, we can close iPhoto here, and if we go to our documents, we see the second file. And if we open that up, um, we see the preview of it. And if we, for example, go to Tools in the Previewer and we say Adjust Size, we see that the actual current size is indeed 760 by 345 pixels. Okay, So uh, that is how you can properly crop to the correct aspect ratio and resize to the correct
pixel dimensions that you require on your Mac using the included software.